Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So before we get into some NHL action for April the 3rd, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of the games for April the 3rd, this coming Sunday. I'm not going to look at all of them, we're going to take a look at four of them. The Florida Panthers and the Buffalo Sabres. The Panthers enter play burning hot, and Buffalo is averaged down. You can see that the Panthers have won five out of their last six games, while the Sabres have lost three out of their last four and are three and three over their last six games. Florida is a road favorite with odds of 1.452 to 3.060, so they're pretty heavy favorites on the road. The power ranking indicator shows Florida at plus 27, while Buffalo is at plus 12. If you look at the last six games as far as over-under goes, Florida has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, and Buffalo has been involved in games over in five out of their last six, so expect a high-scoring game. I would bet the over in this one. The score prediction has Florida by a 3-2 to two score with 51% level of confidence. If you take a look at the stability factor, how well have the teams been performing according to their favorite underdog status, you can see Florida is here at plus 25 on a general upward trend. While Buffalo is at plus 17, but you see that they have actually been a little bit of a downward trend, up and down, uh, plus 19 as of February the 27th. You see up from then until now, they've actually gone down a little bit there. The way I see this game is Florida's definitely the better team at the moment. I mean, there's really, really no question about that. Despite the fact that Buffalo is playing at home, I like Florida to win by two goals. I owners Devils, Minnesota Wild, and the Washington Capitals. Minnesota is burning hot down. They are 5-1 over their last six, coming off of a 4-1 to loss to Pittsburgh. While Washington is averaged down, and they are 3-3 three three over their last six games. You see that Washington is a home favorite with odds of 1.74 to 2.270. The power ranking indicator shows that Minnesota has a little bit of an edge at plus 28 compared to Washington at plus 24. The score prediction is, is showing a close contest with Washington coming out on top 3-2 with confidence and prediction of about 62%. If you take a look at the stability factor, how consistent have the teams been with respect to their favorite underdog stats? You can see here that um, there Minnesota is consistent with plus 19, but Washington not as consistent here, just at plus 6. You can see that they were up as high as... Uh, let's see, back here, they're at plus 8. But really, plus 8 is as high as they have been, and they're at plus 6 at the moment. So what I think is going to happen in this game here, um, I do like uh, Washington to win by a goal. As far as the over-under goes, you can see that Washington has been over in, in all of their last six games. But Minnesota has been under in five out of their last six games. So since they've been trending on opposite sides of the line, I would avoid the over-under bet but go with Washington to win at home. Arizona, Chicago. Next team we want to look at is Vegas and Vancouver. The two teams are heading in opposite directions in this one. Vegas is 4-2 and two over their last six, and they won their last three, while Vancouver has lost four of their last six. Vegas is burning hot, while Vancouver is ice cold down. Not a surprise, then, that Vegas is a favor with odds of 1.82 to Vancouver's 2.148. The score prediction is showing a high-scoring contest, with Vegas coming out on top 4-3 to three with confidence in prediction of 74%. If you take a look at the trends of the over-under, uh, both teams have been split in the last six games, 3 over, 3 under. So in that kind of scenario, I kind of would probably avoid the over-under bet in this one. It's a little bit of an iffy proposition. Um, as far as the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Vegas has been more consistent with regards to their favorite underdog status at plus 14 compared to plus 7. And you see Vancouver was as high as plus 10, so they have been really going a downward trend as far as that goes. I don't like to place my bet on Vancouver, even though they're playing at home. Vegas is playing better. Uh, the odds are in their favor. I like Vegas to win by two goals, but avoid the over-under bet. Edmonton and Anaheim. The last game I want to take a look at is Dallas and Seattle. The Dallas Stars are burning hot at the moment, winners of five out of their last six games, coming off of back-to-back 3-2 wins over Anaheim, while Seattle is averaged down. They are 3-3 three three over their last six games. 
Dallas is a favorite of 1.832 to 2.130, so they are slight favorites. And the score prediction is showing that also with Dallas 3-2 with confidence in prediction of 58%. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Dallas is at plus 16 and Seattle is at plus 6. I mean, that's pretty relatively high for them considering that they were down at 0 from February the 21st all the way through to March the 19th. So they've definitely been playing better as of late. But I do like uh, Dallas to win clearly the better team. And I don't really think this game will be all that competitive. I think Dallas wins by two goals. So there you have it. Those are the four games we want to take a look at for NHL for April the 3rd. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.